Hey y'all, Grand Rising. So we're gonna do a vibe check today. If you like this deck, you can get it by clicking the link in my bio. You can use it for personal use, so you can use it for your clients. All right. So we're gonna see what what we got from here, and then we're gonna pull from the other decks. Okay. Let's get it. So somebody that was trying to send some type of shit to you, they hating. You know, they was hating or whatever. Now they're re regretting that shit. Yeah, this person has a negative entity attachment to them. So this is telling me that um. They probably been doing spell work on mad people. And now finally, you know, finally a demon has took over their fucking vessel. All right. That's how much they be doing that shit to people. So they have some type of negative entity attached to them. Um, and that's why they keep trying to attack you. You know, like at this point, it's not even dumb anymore. It's just the devil trying to use them as a vessel to try to fuck with you. Because you, you're somebody who's of the light. Uh, you probably somebody. Y'all hear that bird? I feel like that's definitely a confirmation. Yeah, like, you're somebody who's of a light, you know, you're somebody who is protected, and they try to attack those people as much as they can, you know? So this person was trying to attack your home, your stability, your family. All right, we got the message, my G. I oh, think that shit's being mad loud now. So, yeah, so whatever happened here, like, this person is regretting it. When I see these beads, this is telling me that this is somebody who's, like, a fake religious person. You know, like, they like to tell people that uh, that they're into that or whatever. And they really out here doing demonic shit behind the scenes. <laughs> All right? And um, this is also telling me that now they want to pray to now they want to pray to God, you know? But they wasn't thinking about God when they was doing all this other shit, you know? So now you want to pray to God? Now you want to be asking for forgiveness and all that bullshit? It's too fucking late. You already did the crime. Now you got to pay for the, for, the, for the... Now you got to do the time, basically. All right? Yeah, what I just said, you're chosen. All right? Some of these people was trying to get y'all to gain weight. I've been seeing this, like, a lot lately. They must be learning about this spell or some shit. Now they all want to be trying that shit, not even knowing that they're getting themselves caught up. So, yeah, so this person tried to do that. Uh, they try to make you gain weight so you could be unhealthy, so that you could, you know, maybe, you know, not be as attractive, whatever. It is what it is. Um, and then we have here that, you know, that you're chosen. No, so they stupid for even trying to do that. They didn't even know who they was dealing with. So let's go a little deeper. Yeah, it's a trap. Yeah, you've been going, you've been slow and steady trying to do whatever you're trying to do. And they've been trying to slow and steady block your fucking blessings. And yeah, this person could be a tarot reader. They've been trying to, um... To see what you're trying to manifest, what you're doing and shit like that through tarot readings, all right? They've been spying through tarot. Yeah, and they're big mad at everything that they saw, you know? They don't want you to be, yeah, they don't want you to be a business owner, an entrepreneur. They don't want you to be doing your thing out here. And they could have been talking about you, lying and shit, telling people lies about you. Yeah, we got suffering in silence. Yeah, they're mad, they're suffering in silence, they're out here lying and shit like that. They're fucking corny, bro. I just saw a stalker. They're definitely stalking you. Look, we got jail time. And then we, oh shit, and then we got stuck. Oof, spiritual gifts. All right, so somebody, if this person was trying to get your spiritual gifts. Like, they be doing this out here. They be trying to do that shit. Again, she got some type of negative entity attachment on her ass. This bitch is going to jail. Now, this could be jail time spiritually. Like, she's not going to be able to use her spiritual gifts no more. Because, again, she could be a tarot reader. And she's using her her skills to be trying to fuck with people. To try to block people's blessings and shit like that. So, you know, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. So, this person now, they're probably going to go to jail. Physical jail. Because I got stuck here. All right, they could be stuck in jail um, for whatever they did because right now it's karma season, okay? And um, if it's not that, it's just that she's in spiritual jail. Like, she cannot use her gifts no more. And she's going to be stuck. She's not going to be able to do shit, you know? You can't manifest. You can't do nothing. You're just stuck. We have that you had an inkling about this person or the situation. Here's your confirmation. Listen to your intuition because he was on point. This person was definitely moving funny out here. Yes, but it's telling you, wrap it up. Wrap up the fucking... The friendship, the relationship, the connection, whatever the fuck this is, wrap it up, close it out. Yep, you divinely got it and protected. Whatever they were trying to do is not going to work. Yep, spirit is saying you strong out here in these spiritual streets. They didn't fucking know. Guess they didn't know. Yeah, I just saw a defamation of character. They definitely talking shit about you. Yeah, they don't want to see you win. See what I'm saying? Spirit is telling you, do not worry about anything that you're hearing right now. This is just an update, letting you know what's going on. It's not for you to be scared. It's not for you to go and, and try to get uh, revenge or none of that shit. Don't do that. You got to let God handle it or you're going to end up getting caught up in this shit too. 